The Kennedy class 4 is a single, bilateral edentulous area anterior to natural teeth. In this video we will describe a design for the mandibular Kennedy class 4 arch, given a series of clinical findings. The patient presents with a chief complaint of missing teeth. The patient is missing the mandibular incisor teeth and desires tooth replacement, but has limited financial resources. The patient is aesthetic conscious and has amalgam restorations present. The patient is missing mandibular third molars which will not be replaced. 8 mm exists from the free gingival margin to the elevated floor of the mouth. The edentulous area is noted to be well healed, and no soft tissue or bony undercuts exist. A metal base may be used, provided sufficient space for aesthetic acrylic is present. Mesh retained acrylic base may be considered as an alternative. An alternative to a conventional cingulum rest should be considered. A Kennedy Class 1 Modification 1 design is not advisable. The partial denture design need not anticipate short-term tooth loss. Anticipation of tooth loss could include addition of lingual plating to teeth that are considered at risk. Location of frenal attachments will not influence selection of clasps or base materials. The diagnostic cast is examined for guiding planes, areas of potential undercut interferences to the path of insertion and aesthetics. One area of aesthetic concern that may be noted is the presence of dark triangles associated with the mandibular canines. These must be considered and corrected by enamelaplasty, alteration of the path of insertion, or both. Caution must be exercised when reducing the canine for guiding planes. Performing the reduction on the cast may be helpful. An anterior-posterior tilt to the path of insertion may also be employed. Rest seat placement in the posterior area is complicated by the presence of amalgam restorations. Posterior placement of the rest seats increases the resistance arm, making the retention more efficient. Engaging the premolar with the embrasure clasp not only shortens the resistance arm, but is less aesthetic as well. Placing the retention on the side of the tooth facing the edentulous area is more effective than retention away from the edentulous area. Although the terminal molars could be used with distal rest seats, only two retentive clasps could be employed. To avoid clasping the anterior area, and to provide greater retention, Embrasure clasps are recommended with mesial and distal retention on the molar teeth. Here the clinician is called upon to exercise clinical judgment and patient education. Although complete coverage restorations are recommended, patient finances preclude or limit this consideration. The clinician must decide to use the existing restoration, or replace it. One must consider how loss of the restoration would affect the prognosis. How difficult would it be to replace, and whether or not the restoration will be sufficiently resistant to breakage after rest seat preparation. After surveying the cast, and examining the occlusion, the mesial of the canines and lingual surfaces of the molars are chosen for guiding planes. Reduction in the anterior area must not be overly extensive. Vertical support for the restoration will be provided anteriorly by distal ball rests and posteriorly by double occlusal rests on the molar teeth. The lingual bar is selected for the major connector. The anterior area is well healed and a metal base is selected. Beads are used to retain pink acrylic and teeth. In cases of limited buccal lingual arch width, mesh may be considered to retain an acrylic base. Embrasure clasps with 0.01 inch undercut are used to provide retention. Reciprocation is provided with cast bracing arms. Retention is bilaterally balanced. Both buccal and lingual retentive undercuts are acceptable and should be bilaterally opposed. In this video, we have proposed a design for the mandibular Kennedy class 4 arch form. 
the design has considered various options complicated by the patient conditions given. Thank you.